Hey guys and welcome back to Unbox Mood where today we would be taking a look at this budget graphics card known as the RX 580. Stay tuned. If you're looking for something that plays generally at 1080p with respectable frame rate, well this might just be the card for you. Well, firstly, let's start with its unboxing and talk about some history while we're going at it. Well, the RX 580 had been released in 2017 with their CPU lineups, and this may have held their attention until this day. Well, inside the box, there's apparently another box. I think that's probably for safety, I guess. top of the box we get to see some paperwork this right here is how you could overclock it and stuff like that and then we have the installation guide which we would be taking a look at after and then we have the driver information this basically says that there's no disk driver in this and that we may have to download it through the internet And now taking a look at this pretty nice box, um, how do I take this out now? I think it's just do this, yep. We have the, oh okay, so we've got the PCIe connectors and this is from two 6-pin connectors to an 8-pin connector. Well, this 8-pin connector goes into our AMD GPU, which basically gives it power. So now this is what I had been waiting to see. Fun fact, this would actually be my first GPU. The GPU that I use right now is the integrated AMD Ryzen 3 3200G GPU. Well, it's got conductive grid back, um, which could be actually helpful. So any electricity could not actually affect you. And taking that off, we have this polished looking graphics card. And the model right now that I have is the Triple X Black Edition with 8GB of VRAM. And 8GB of VRAM can actually come in handy while increasing the looks of your game graphics or any other external software work. And now it's time for me to basically just connect this to my PCIe on the PC and basically I'll be back in 5 minutes. While playing Call of Duty Warzone and GTA 5, with my old graphics, with my old EPU graphics from the Vega 8, I only got around 32 to 40 FPS, but now using my RX 580, I've been getting exactly 60 frames per second from very high to high settings. Well, that was all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And to be honest, this graphics card from 2017 is still respectable today. And if anyone's trying to buy it, you should go for it. It's the best budget value. And see you guys until next time.